All right, this video is another video about the washer method, but now it's revolutions around non-axis lines. All right, so in this case, we have the, we have the function y equals 2x and y equals x over 2, and we're going to revolve this now around the line y equals negative 2. So now, how do we do this? Well, this is what you have to think about. We want to get this line to an axis. So if we want to raise this line up to the x-axis, because this is the x-axis and of course this is the y, what do we got to do to this line to get it up to the x-axis? Well, we need to add 2. So that's exactly what we're going to do to our two functions before we do the disk method. Or the, I'm sorry, the washer method, okay? So add 2 to this, you get y equals 2x plus 2. Add 2 to this, you get y equals x over 2 plus 2. So now we're going to integrate these two functions instead of the original two. So our volume is going to be, and of course we're going from 0 to 2, is going to be pi times the one furthest away, so 2x plus 2 squared dx, and minus from 0 to 2, pi times the closest one, which is x over 2 plus 2 dx. Alright, I know you know how to do this, so I'm not going to take time to do this. Oh, that's squared. But what I do recommend is going ahead and squaring these out first before you take the antiderivative. It'll just make it a little easier. I want you to try that. And remember, this is your outer and this is your inner. How do we determine that? The outer is always the one furthest from the line that you're revolving around. And your inner is always the one closest to the line you're revolving around. All right. So if you if you um, do the math, I'm going to let you do it to make sure you can get the correct answer. It comes out to 69.115 for your volume. Okay. So you're doing the same thing except you have to figure out what do I got to do to get this line up to here. All right. To get it up there, all I got to do is add two. That's all I got to do. So since all I got to do is add two. Just add 2 to both functions, then do your integration, subtract the inner from the outer, and you're done. Okay? Alright. What about revolving around a vertical line? So like in this case, this is equivalent to revolving around the y-axis, except here we're revolving around the line x equals 2. That's y, that's x. We're revolving around the line x equals 2. So again, you have to figure out... What do I got to do to get to the y-axis, right? Well, to get to the y-axis, I have to go to the right 2. But if you remember, to go to the right, to move a function right, you have to add or subtract 2 to x. Hopefully, you said subtract 2. So our new function here is going to be y equals 2 parentheses x minus 2, and this one is going to be y equals x minus 2, oops, x minus 2 over 2, all right? Then again, you would still do the same thing from 0 to 2. You would still do the integration the same, okay, 0 to 2. So you'd still do from 0 to 2 pi, but now you have to solve it for y. So you put f of y dx or dy minus from 0 to 2, okay, pi times your inner radius, I'm going to call it f of y sub 2 dy, all right? So you still do it the exact same way, except now before we can do this, we have to solve our two new functions for x in order to do this because we're revolving it around the equivalent of the y-axis. All right, so you still do it the same way, your outer minus your inner, and remember your outer in this case is the function further away, so this is what you'd use for your outer, 
And this one is what you'd use for your inner. All right, other than that, after you solve for x, other than that, everything's done the same, so I'm not gonna finish this one, not gonna take the time. You can do it if you want to, and I can give you the answer tomorrow, all right? But just don't forget that when you go to the right, all right, when you're, when you're moving your line to the right, you actually subtract. And, when, and if you have to move your line to the left, you're going to add, okay? How much you add is how many units it takes to get from your line to the y-axis. All right, other than that, everything works the same way. All right, so make sure you understand how to do the washer method, revolving lines around non-axis lines, and of course, we're gonna work on some problems tomorrow in class. See you tomorrow.